In this lesson we will look at storing some values in variables or memory locations. Before taking the lesson you should read the document Variables and Data Types which accompanies it. The form that we are going to use contains two controls BTN Display and a text box TXT Result. The code we write will be for the click event of the button BTN Display. So we can switch over to the code window now by double clicking on the button. This takes us to the click event of the button BTN display. In our event procedure we're going to use two string variables called first and last which we will use to hold a first name and a last name. We begin by declaring these as follows. So we write dim first as string comma last as string. So if we look at the line of code we've just written we can see that it begins with a dim statement. Every declaration line begins with a dim statement and then we separate the de declarations by commas and we only use the dim once at the beginning of the line. If we need to start another line to declare some variables, again we begin with dim. Now let's assign values to these variables. Suppose we want to store the string Joe in the variable first. We write first equals and then inverted commas J-O-E for the string Joe. Remember that the equal symbol is actually called the assignment operator meaning that we use it to assign a value to a variable. The variable or memory location where we wish to store the value is written to the left of the equal sign or the assignment operator and the value that is to be stored is written on the right hand side. So in this case we are storing the string JOE in the variable first or if you like assigning it to the variable or memory location that we're calling first. Now let's store the string blogs in the variable that we've called last and we write last equals and again the inverted commas for a string blogs. Now suppose that we want to use another string variable called full name which we will construct from the contents of first and last. This variable will then hold the full name Joe Blogs. So first of all we'll declare it full name as string and then we'll assign a value to it by writing full name equals and on the right hand side now we'll say first which will refer to the contents of first ampersand and we'll make a space here so just a string with a space ampersand last we use the ampersand symbol to join strings together so in this case we're joining first to a space and then, then joining the contents of last on the end of that, which should create a string for us that reads J O E space B L O G G S. Now we'll display the contents of the variable full name in our text box TXT result. The way we do this is by changing the text property of our text box. So we can write a line of code as follows txt result that's our text box dot text the text property of that text box is set to be equal to and we make a little string the name is and we join that to the contents of our variable full name now let's run our program and see the effects of the lines of code that we've just written so we click on the run button 
and when the form appears we'll click on our button to execute the code. And there we can see in our text box the message that we've wanted to display uh, in the last line of code. The name is Joe Blogs, which is the contents of our variable full name.